And that one is Delaware State and Columbia out of the Ivy League. Again, on this show, we will not only talk power conferences, we will sometimes uh, talk some of the lesser-known teams and conferences. And here's a case where Columbia gets or is laying 8.5 against Delaware State with a total of 141.5. I'm right back to mid-major. Matt, what stood out about this game among the bevy of games that are on the slate? What jumped out to you about this game, sir? So I'll probably regret picking this uh, Monday when I come back on, and I'll, I'll slap myself on the wrist for this, but it's two bad offenses against two really bad defenses and a game that figures to have 75-plus possessions. And I, I can remember last year on the show, I played a game like this, and it didn't hit. It was an exact situation where you have two bad offenses, but you have two defenses that aren't very good, and it didn't hit. But I'm going to try it once again. I mean, you look at these two teams, and you see the possession numbers, and Delaware State's possession number is lower but they also just played a 57 possession game against Villanova. If you look, they played 69 possessions against Virginia Tech, 82 against Immaculata. So, and you look at last year, they were in the 100s when it came to pace. And Columbia has been speeding through every game so far, 74, 76, 78. Neither team plays much defense. I'm hoping that will spark a little bit of offense here. The number's already gone up a bunch from what the number we're about to give out. So that's good um, that at least I beat the move. But um, it's not a guarantee it's going to win. So... I would not play it at the current number it's at, but I'll play it at the number I got. Um, it's gone up four points, I think, since then. So I hope for some offense against these two bad defenses. And we did explain this. Again, if you're new to the show, we have to get our picks in with the handicappers, the graphics you see, et cetera, usually a couple of hours before this show begins. Obviously, on the day of a game, a line might move. And Matt is just mentioning that. So you may see the play that the handicappers made at a certain number that's now, as he mentioned, three or four points difference. That's kind of unusual that it moves that much the day of the game. But we covered this also on yesterday's show. It, it might depend on an injury that we suddenly become aware of. It can depend on a lot of groups that start <clears throat> betting in different games, moving the line, right? I mean, Matty Cox, pick up on that point. We've been talking about it this week, but for the audience that's watching us here, there are sometimes going to be lines that move three or four points on the morning of a game. It's going to happen. Yeah, especially with the extra board. Uh, you're talking about Delaware State. Whenever Delaware State comes up on the ticker, um, yeah, very soft, inefficient markets. And typically with the extra boards, the big money that moves the market can't bet until uh, early, uh, mid-morning. So you'll see those moves actually right around when we're uh, airing or just before. So it's kind of a tough uh, – the tough pickle we're trying to straddle, but uh, we'll do the best we can. I, I, I like what mid-major Matt's looking at here, though. I think this is a um, an ugly rock fight, uh, but, uh, but, but, but we'll, I guess we'll see how ugly it is coming off the Villanova game. And interesting, I like the point, though, too. Neither one of them are very good on defense. So this, this would indicate that you can get some points. And so Matt yep. is in, mid-major Matt is in on the over officially that's going to be his play in the Delaware State Columbia game tonight over the 141 and a half you may see that four or five points higher that's what he got it at here for the show that's the official play for this evening April 